okay so now we are done with the table creation part let's move on to the integration so it is going to involve four different steps the first one we are going to create a zoom developer app in zoom side the second one we are going to create a third-party provider in service now the third one we are going to create a script include which is actually going to override the existing one and this is going to allow us to have a refresh token with an extended lifespan and the fourth one we are going to work with integration hub creating connection credential aliases connection and credential uh, we will have the explanation how really this works later but this one is going to actually um, this is sorry this is from where we are going to get the token okay we have different ways to get the token you can create a traditional rest message and you have the get OAuth link which you can use to get the token or you can also have it from integration hub okay so let's now have a detailed explanation of how integration itself it works okay okay so an integration is basically going to allow two different applications to communicate securely okay in our example we have zoom and ServiceNow, and the end goal here is to get a token an access token a token is more like a key for example if you want to enter in someone's place you need a key and, and similarly for ServiceNow if you want if the if ServiceNow want to access information from Zoom they need a key or if even if they want to post information if, if they want to give information okay so now let's see how we get to the point that we get this key what is the exact process behind so the first thing that we have to do is to prepare basically the environment so we create um, a zoom developer app in zoom side and in service now we create what we call a third party provider okay connect to third party provider that's what we create here so we're going to provide in both side few information so we are going to let them communicate in the end to get to have the token okay so the zoom developer app will give us the client ID and the client secret and zoom itself it will give us the authorization URL and the token URL and in service now we will have what we call a redirect URL to which zoom can send a code some information okay so now let's see how it is actually going to work how we are going to proceed how the basically this the communication is going to happen in between them the first thing the, the third party provider is going to send an authorization request to the authorization URL with the client ID and secret that we get from the authorization uh, from the developer app. OK, so we are going to send that request in response. What, it, what is going to happen? It's a pop up window which is going to tell you as a user to log in and consent why because you are the person who actually manually put this information in the third party provider application okay when you create this application you have a form you have a client id and seek client secret field where you put this information so you are it is actually asking you would you like to allow service now to access your zoom information at that moment you log in and you consent so zoom now can send a code to third party provider so it's going to send an authorization code to the redirect url so the third party provider right now it is going to exchange the code for a token by sending another request to the token url okay this is how we get the access token so everything is made here in order to secure more communication with an external application that's why you also as a user you come in and log in and consent okay so this is the process to get the token but in this video we are not going to get the token we are just going to create this application and also write a scripting clue which is already there in the system but we are just going to modify the scripting clue in order to get a refresh token which will have a longer life span okay but we will do another video the upcoming video where we will understand what is integration hub how it is going to be useful for us here and we will get the token from there 
okay so just keep watching the video and uh, create these application um, and then we can move on for the next step